Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci and we're here at Hess Elementary School for a school visit today. We've been talking about tornadoes, we've been talking about hurricanes, we're going to have questions, and we were talking about a little bit of snow too. No snow today across the area. We have sunny skies and as we go into tonight we're going to have a mainly clear sky across the area. The windy weather that we had for today ends up dying down as we go overnight. So it's going to be a calmer night, low temperatures when we're waking up on our Thursday morning are going to be in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. So if you guys are going to the bus stop, you're going to want the jacket on. And then as we go throughout the day, we're actually going to see temperatures rise up into the upper 40s for Valentine's Day. So we're feeling a little bit of love from the sun because we're going to have a mostly sunny sky for the day tomorrow. Again, temperatures about seasonable. If you're in the sun, actually not feeling all that bad. Winds are going to stay light. Then we go into Thursday night. It's going to be another Pretty uh, seasonable night for us here across the area. Should be in the 30s for us. Um, you'll probably want to go to school or work with the jacket on Friday morning, but you can lose it as we go throughout the day. We're going to have strong southwesterly winds that come in ahead of a cold front. And what that does is we tap into some moisture and some warmer air from the Gulf of Mexico. High temperatures for here, like right here in Hamilton Township in Amaze Landing, around 60 degrees for, excuse me, for Friday. And then if you're over at the shore, it's gonna be a little bit cooler in the mid 50s. We'll see morning sunshine give way to afternoon clouds and there'll be a shower around, mainly north of the White Horse Pike on Route 30. Otherwise though, I believe if you're south of there, like we are right here for today, should likely be dry across the area. That would be after three o'clock, any showers. And then we turn to President's Day weekend, which for some reason or another always seems to have stormy weather and this weekend's not gonna be any different. We're looking for two opportunities for stormy weather. One is going to be late in the day on Saturday with the system that slides across the mid-Atlantic and into the area. It's mostly gonna to stay to our south, but we got in the northern edge of that. I do think we're gonna see a little bit of snow and sleet for us late in the day on Saturday. Now, when we are with you on Thursday morning, we'll have more details on that. Then we have a drier in between day on Sunday and then Sunday night into Monday. We have a bigger storm that's coming to our area. That's really what all we can tell you for now, whether it's gonna be snow, sleet, or rain, a little too early to be told. Looks to be mostly rain for us here in South Jersey, um, though I will say that at this time. Then looking forward into the rest of the seven day. Tuesday, looks to be another dry day, dry and seasonable. And on Wednesday, it looks like another storm is coming. So we have a train of storms that just keep on rolling along. Uh, looks like we're not catching a break here in South Jersey. So from here at Hess Elementary School, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We're gonna get back to the kids. We got a little question and answer. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning.